Hello everyone, today I will show you how to do industrial slash sci-fi detail in Blender, like the one you see here. Pipes, panels, every kind of bits and pieces, you name it. To make these details we need one of the add-ons that come with Blender, the discombobulator. I assume that you know how to enable Blender add-ons, you know, in the preferences. To start with, we need a base shape to add the detail on. Let's add a plane and subdivide it a few times. The number of subdivisions determines the scale of the details. Select all and press Shift A to bring up the discombobulator menu. All these settings will be displayed and if you edit them now, you'll see that nothing happens. So let's just hit OK for now. Now you see the effect of the discombobulator. It creates these random extrusions. Right now they just look like weirdly arranged keyboard keys or something like that. But if we play with the height and taper a bit, we can create these kind of sci-fi panels. Increase the number where it says repeat protrusions and get more detail. I won't go over all the settings here. For a more in-depth look, I recommend this tutorial. Now let's add a second layer of detail, some pipes. Add a second plane a bit above, around the same size. Subdivide and discombobulate it again, but this time set both height and taper to zero. You can repeat the protrusions again if you want. It still only looks like a plane, but in edit mode you can see that we get these random subdivisions. Note that the discombobulator always keeps the original mesh, so delete that. Let's add a wireframe modifier and there you have it, instant pipes. Play with the thickness a bit and make them more round and pipe-like by adding a subdivision surface modifier and shading it smooth. Enable crease edges in the wireframe menu so your pipes have an even thickness. You'll notice that weird edge in the middle, that's because our approach with the discombobulator doesn't create clean topology. We can fix this by going into Mesh, Clean Up and merging the vertices by distance, which deletes double vertices. There will still be some small issues because not all faces are connected to all their surrounding vertices, but no one will notice seriously. On to the final and most fun step, the texturing. Grab an image from the internet that has a lot of these details on it. I found this one on textures.com, link in description, but you can use any that you like. Create a new material with this image, maybe plug it into roughness and specular with the color ramp, or even use it for bump if you're feeling fancy. Go to the UV editing tab and project the texture on the mesh with view project from view. Make sure you are in the top view for that. You may have to apply the modifiers to the pipes to prevent texture stretching. Take the created UVs and move them to wherever you think they look good. There you have it! Now use any shape you want for that, cylinders, spheres, even Suzanne. Make two or three shapes and build a factory, or whatever. Use different materials for different parts, add shapes and wireframes wherever you want. None of this mess makes any sense but it looks good. Uh -huh.